you know, end of the half, we get the big sack, you know, take the lead, and then we throw the pick six, and just such a huge momentum shift. And I told the kids at halftime, it was not our best half. Uh, we go play a better half, we'll win this ball game. We're the better team. And um, we went out and got some things done on defense, got some stops. You know, sometimes you live a, a high wire rack when you have a freshman quarterback. Uh, and we lived that high wire act a little bit and made a couple, you know, bonehead head plays. But they also made a lot of great plays, you know. And, and the thing with Ty is that he's just so smart that he, and, and he's such a great personality that he quickly flushes out the bad play and moves on to the next play and generally doesn't make the same mistake twice. So um, that was a great team win. You know, we had to do some things. We had to kick a long field goal. Uh, we had a, you know, cover on kicks. We had a punt. Um, you know, and, and the defense had to step up in the second half, and the offense had to make some plays in the second half, and we did. Um, you know, two-point conversions were huge. Uh, kind of, you know, put it back to a 14-point game. So, yeah, all in all, you know, winning this tough, this place is tough, and these guys are much better than they were last year, and it's a good team win. And can you talk about the impact of Derek today? You know, he really got after the quarterback. Well, he's, he's done that all year, you know. I mean, he's playing at a different level. Um, I don't know if I ever see anyone play at a PJ level, uh, but he's playing at a really high level. And the nice thing is um, we can play him anywhere the four spots in the defensive line. Um, and that's what we do. You know, there's times that we think we need to take an advantage of a situation. We'll put him inside. Uh, or, or we'll loop him inside, try to get him up on a mismatch on one of their guards if we think that's a good uh, matchup for us. Uh, the development of Eric and, and, and Derek have really been huge for us. Uh, and then Spencer comes in, and he's just so steady. And then we get the nickel. He gets in there also. I mean, it's, it's a good group. Braylon, Braylon Franklin's coming on right now. It's a good group, and, and I think one of the reasons why we're having some success in defense is we really get after the quarterback. We get a lot of tackles for loss, a lot of sacks, and that's been really big for us. Coach, after, after the Nichols game, you told the offensive staff that we got to get K.J. more touches, over 200 total yards tonight, career high in rushing. How key was he for you guys tonight? Well, geez, then you should have interviewed him before me. I didn't really say 200 yards. Well, you know, K.J., um, He's sort of the total package. He can catch a ball in the backfield. He can protect. And he can run the ball hard up inside, but then you get him on the flank. I mean, you know, he can, he can take it home. And, um, you know, one of the things, you know, we got to do a better job is, you know, when we, we need a yard, we didn't need to be able to get a yard. But uh, he just had a big day. And for this offense to be as explosive, now think about it. You know, since Ty's been with us, you know, as a starter, we've been, you know, averaging about 42, 43 points a game. And we should have had another seven there. So, um, this offense is just starting to come around right now. Uh, I, I still think we're, we're not where we can get to. And then it's really exciting when the defense comes in and plays, you know, and spurts like it did. Early on, we had some struggles. Defense staff made some adjustments, um, kind of changed the picture up a little bit, and uh, got some more pressure on the quarterback. And like I said, all in all, it was just a great team win. What, what were the emotions like in the locker room after just such a dominant second half? Yeah, you know, uh, I think we're all drained. You know, in fact, we're going to come in late tomorrow. We're going to get home probably 3 or 4 in the morning. I'm going to bring them back and forth in the afternoon. And maybe they're a little surprised. That I'm not taking it easy on you. It's just we're, we're, a little, we're a little leg weary right now. I can see it in Tuesday's practice. We were sluggish. I mean, the effort was there, but just the body wasn't. And uh, so um, it, it was a great, like I said, it was a great team win. And to see us come out the second half with the emotion of what just happened at, at the end of the half and not, not even worry about it and just keep on going, that's why these guys have a chance. They have a chance because they really don't worry about what just happened. They really play that next play. And I'm really proud of, of uh, you know, that characteristic that they have.